Doug Allman, the CEO of the Lance Armstrong Foundation. Unfortunately, Doug couldn't make it to Australia for the tour down under this year, so please enjoy the following online interview. One of the Live Strong Global Cancer Campaign goals 12 months ago was to have world leaders commit to fighting cancer. 12 months on, are you pleased with the progress? Yeah, I think we're pleased. I think we're an ambitious organization, and uh, it's not always easy getting world leaders to make commitments in a short period of time. We had several heads of state and several countries make massive commitments during 2009, and I think we developed a lot of relationships that will pay off in 2010 and beyond. So our work is definitely not over, um, but we've made great progress so far. Great. Through the use of social media sites such as Twitter and Facebook, Evan is amazed at the connections he has made with fellow grassroots community leaders around the globe. How did the use of social media within the LAF come about? Well, I think social media in general is transforming the way we do business, it's transforming the way nonprofits and social movements do business, and um, that's a good thing. Uh, it's been a really effective, easy way for us to communicate and bring people together. Uh, I think internally we had a lot of people at the foundation who were excited about it, um, and, and I never forget when Jeff Manning started talking to me about Twitter. Uh, Jeff's our uh, director of marketing here, and uh, he, you know, brought it up and we didn't know what it was and we started using it and lo and behold, a year later, look where it's gotten us. So, um, creative ideas are always flowing here at the Foundation and hopefully we'll, uh, we'll find the next best social media outlet uh, and start using that soon. Great. How does the CEO of the Lance Armstrong Foundation unwind? <laughs> uh, carefully. Um, <laughs> I don't get a lot of time off, um, which I like. I like to be busy and I like to work. And doesn't feel like work when you're trying to help so many people and change the world like we all are all doing. Um, but typically it's reading and exercising. Uh, I do a lot of stuff outside, running, golf, soccer, um, and I love to read. So my goal for this year is to read a book every two weeks. Um, and that's obviously ambitious like everything else we do here. Uh, so I'll let you know how that goes. Good. Very impressive goal. <laughs> is there a favorite quote that you can always reply on? Wow, favorite quote. You know, I keep a list of quotes in my Blackberry. Um, every time I hear a good quote, I write it down, and I type it in into a memo that says quotes, and it just scrolls and scrolls and scrolls. And so um, I love quotes in general. My mom actually buys me books of quotes all the time uh, that are sitting out in my house. Um, I don't know if I have a, I don't know if I have a favorite. Um, that's, a, that's, a, that's a tough one. Um, who do you think are some of the most quotable people in history? You know, recently I've been on a Martin Luther King Jr. Uh, kick for my speaking. Um, obviously, he was just such a principled individual who led a social movement, and so I think there's a lot of relevance uh, to what we're doing. Um, I also think President Clinton had uh, a great way with words and, and, and reading them. Um, you know, I think that, that he uh, was a great orator. So. And, and obviously President Obama now as well. Um, there is a quote, uh, and I'll paraphrase, but uh, from Birch Bayh, who was a, a governor and senator of Indiana. His son Evan Bayh is now a senator in, in the state of Indiana in the United States. And, um, and Birch Bayh said, uh, we should consider investing as much in the health and well-being of our citizens as we do in their safety and our defense. Um, so uh, I, I always sort of come back to that sometimes. Well said. Thanks, Doug. Thank you.